Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm a All right, everybody, welcome back to the gamer wannabe. Playing more satisfactory. Uh, kind of, kind of been been off on another game for a little bit. Got a little frustrated. Um, I believe last time I was working on, uh, I was. Uh, my whole game plan was to redo my copper, which I uh, I did most in the video. I think I finished it off camera. Um, it's probably I, I feel like it's way more than I need, but I also feel like anything you feel like is enough in this game isn't gonna end up being enough. So. Um, and I also, I didn't really redo my concrete. Uh, I upgraded all the belts to Mark II's, uh, which I believe supplies 40 to each one of these, so they're a little shy. Uh, everything's full at the moment. Uh, I was gonna redo the storage, but uh, decided not to. So this is all full. And I got it going back into my bus, which I, I, um, I like the idea of the bus, but, uh, I get, um, yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Um, but on to, oh, I also got, uh, Excuse me. Also got uh, the caterium going in this corner back here. Yeah, I went way overkill with the uh, with the copper, I think. So we got the caterium. It's just the one smelter, one con uh, constructor. Uh, feeds back into the bus. I'll take it up to the next level to be. My next tier of stuff. Lots of copper going. Uh, four smelters, I think it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, four smelters. I think eight constructors. And what is it? Uh, eight. I'm pretty sure eight constructors. Constructors, right? One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, twelve constructors. But uh, I believe one, two. Three of them are making cable. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like we're okay with all that. This is uh, from when I tore it all down, the excess I had. Uh, <clears throat> for the time being, I just have it uh, merged into the line, so when I get the second floor going, it's slowly going to drip feed out of these, and when they go empty, I'll, I'll take them down, or whenever I get around to taking care of them. Uh, kind of got my height figured out for the second floor, but I will get to that once I finish this side. This was the steel that I had going. That is the container that I still have a bunch of, I think it's full of caterium ingots. And this has still got some Caterium Ore. Uh, you don't remember what all those were doing, but I'll take them down. All this is coming down. Just in time. Uh, <clears throat> I started on my new iron uh, fabrication. And I got carried away and realized, hey, I uh, forgot to press the record button like I... Like I normally forget to do. Um, 
So I'm doing a little bit of experimenting here. Feeding off two Mark I miners, 60 units each. So we got 120 coming in here. And so 60 split 30 to each. Same over here, 60 split 30 to each. Which should be 30 in and 30 out. And these are... Plates. Yeah, plates. Which is 30 in and 15 out. So I need to get I'll set all these to plates so I don't forget. Uh, and I'm gonna do separate rods and I'm gonna split off the rods <coughs> to do uh, screws. And I'm gonna have a I'm gonna go. I wanted all the assemblers to start on the second floor, but I think I'm gonna throw some assemblers down here with the screws and plates to get the reinforced plates, and then those will go up to the second floor and do their thing. And then, uh, shoot, what else was there? What are they? I kind of scribbled some. My math is probably wrong on most of this. Uh, rotors and modular frames will be fabricated um, God, I would really rather them be fabric that actual assemblers be upstairs but I don't I don't know one step at a time so I need um, these need to go into some storage but from here these are gonna go back to the bus wait no, because some of these, because I, I want to make my reinforced. I could send them back to the bus, and let it go upstairs and do my cylinders, but I'm going to be limited on space up there. I mean, I guess I can make it bigger than down here, but I, I, I feel like I'd have extra room, because if I get rid of all those assemblers, then I'll just have wasted... Okay, I'll... Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to do my whole plan of what I have scribbled out down here, which would have, by the other end, what would we have? We'd have uh, reinforced iron plates, modular frames, and rotors done down here. And then if I have room, I'll, I'll worry about the, uh, the, uh, the steel. Like, I'll pro I think I'll probably have room to get the steel ingots going. I don't know if I'll have room to get, get those turned into the, the rods and plates. And my bus, for the time being, I just have ran into here. And I did these loops back here to take it up to the next floor, but <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just getting that ready. I know they've got the elevators coming. So the way I'm planning on this is I'm hoping I'll be able to just get rid of this and do elevators from one hole up to the next hole. And just, you know, have the elevator chutes going straight vertical instead of having all this hanging out. Uh, and then I'll be able to just extend that over and whatever. Yeah, okay. Uh, get back on track, dude. So, <clears throat> what I think I need, I still got stuff here. And I still have storages over here that all the stuff I took down I threw over here, some rods and plates and miscellaneous stuff. So... Okay, I've got... What do I have written here? Mergers? Mergers. I wrote this stuff down a while back. 
mergers, so... Alright, let's, let's, let's do mergers. I mean, it can only be wrong. Uh, let's, 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 let's put them all on six. Let's, uh, how much room are we looking at here? Uh, let's just do it like that. And do this one like this. Do those merge? Okay, I got, okay, wait a minute. Gotta figure out my scribbles here. Let's do them in the center. Looks to be about here. And about here. Can I get that in there? doing these all on Mark 1 belts for the moment just to uh, lay it all out. but I could do that. Uh, I'd hate to kind of tear this down and move it all over a little, but... I... Okay, didn't mean to do that. I could move it over... <clears throat> move everything over a square just to make some more room here. about that. Um, so according to my math, I'm going to come off of here, go into some assemblers that are going to be making my iron plates. My iron plates. Get my rods going and then build my rods. Build my rods. I wonder if I have enough room to build my rods here, but then I'd have to get. I feel like I should have done my rods over here, but I have a different layout for that, kind of. How's that layout gonna work? So I got four smelters, which I have four smelters. I say this because I think my rod manufacturing would be longer, but it also has a, a kind of a secondary-ish part, you know, turning into the screws. So if I did the rods here and my screws right over here, and then 
<coughs> my plates over here, which would be coming out, you know, be coming out somewhere in here, throw a storage or two in here for a buffer. But then my plates, so my plates will be coming out here, my screws will be coming out here, boom, assembler. And then over here, uh, I can you know, start throwing in my other assemblers. All right, so I mm, guess I'm redoing this. 12 seconds later. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. So, how... How wide are these smelters gonna be? So we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna have to make a turn, which those are gonna be in the way. So... For the time being, let's make sure we have room for that. smelter down and we're gonna have the splitter That's going to need to be a mark two. Damn it. Mark two. Coming off of here. Let's get the smelter back. How far away did I make those? Okay. Actually, it's getting split less than that. This, this is going to work. I'm pretty, yeah. Okay, and then I have moiges, which put merges here, and I want to need constructors. Let's put the constructors.
doing rods, right? Yes. So you rods are gonna output fifteen. So fifteen thirty. Another fifteen, thirty, thirty. Another thirty is sixty, so that should be that. idea of buffers so let's throw what am I lacking here uh, encased beams. what do encased beams take or I mean I know they're I mean do I have what I need to make encased uh, I can make Crap ton of case beams. Let's do it. And through the magic of YouTube, we're done. This should get my rods going, but on the other hand, I'm gonna get rid of this because I know I have rods over here. Actually, I was gonna just run a conveyor belt and let it feed while I'm doing things, but. I have more than just rods in here, so it's going to take it all, and I don't have, i never even used the programmable things. So let's take you. Throw all of you in here. I think that was all of them. annoying when it gets dark. That. I don't have any in here. Best to s remember to record from now on. Did I get all of them? Yes, I did. But I also don't want these videos getting too long, so um, I'm gonna call this good on this video for now. So, thanks for watching, and uh, y'all have yourselves a good one. Hope to see you back.